we all can think of the time we experienced a stressful situation and we all know how bad it can be. Our heart would beat fast, respiration rate would change, we would be sweating and so on. And this is all rather subconsciously regulated by brain. You can imagine stress as follows. Our body is just very sensitive to specific change. Once the change is detected, it complains. Now in my project, I focus on patients suffering from opioid use disorder. Opioids are widely prescribed pain blockers that are used for various medical conditions. And they are also illegal used as they are, they are known to assist mental relaxation. Now, as you probably know, people get addicted to opioids easily. And there are 16 million of people worldwide suffering from opioid use disorder. Reasonably, many of them decide to stop using opioids. And during their recovery process, they suffer from what is called opioid withdrawal. And this exactly means that body is very sensitive to, to specific change. It lacks opioids and it complains. Now, besides this stress phenomena that we all experience, those people are experiencing series of very intense body and emotional events, such as severe pain or anxiety that limits their everyday abilities. So this imposes social and economic burden. The idea of my project is to use small device that delivers electrical stimulation on the surface of the neck. The goal is to target vagus nerve under the skin, and aim of this procedure is transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation. Once vagus nerve is activated, it then transmits information to brain, and brain then regulates activity of peripheral organs that are related to body stress response. Let me summarize. We activate nerve, nerve activates brain, and brain decreases activity of desired organs, which means body complains less and withdrawal is reduced. Now, as our brain is one of the most complex machineries, I still have to do more to convince you this works as I hypothesize. To do so, I collect signals from surface of human body that are related to stress response. For example, ACG that measures electrical activity of heart, respiration activity, blood pressure, and so on. Then I use mathematical tools and what is called signal processing and machine learning to explain effect of transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation. So this will describe how body modifies its response when exposed to change it's normally very sensitive to, but when vagus nerve stimulation is applied. Once we are confident how this works, patients suffering from other mental health disorders, such as post-traumatic stress disorder or depression, can also benefit from this low-cost, non-invasive and user-friendly device. Thank you for your attention.